Hello students. I'm going over, uh, well, how to dimension, well, it's P4-17, but in Chapter 8, it's P8-13. So, since this is supposed to be for that part of the class, I'm going to make that so. That's the only thing I need to correct, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are in the correct dimension style, annotative metric. And we want to use dimension layer right there. Uh, we're going to go here, select our layer, and now we're going to go here to linear and start using our dimensions. So, first thing we're going to do is start with this. And we want to bring that down so that the uh, number, your text on your dimension, is about the height. Let me zoom in here. Let's see. Wait. Am I? Ah, I'm not in the viewport. So, I'm jumping the gun. Let's delete that. And now we're going to activate the viewport. As I tell so many students, you always activate the viewport before placing dimensions. Or you should just dimension in the model space, which is what I'm going to do here in just a moment. But you want your dimension to be about that far away. Okay. Which, in this case, it's about three, four millimeters. Okay. So you want that to be that far away on this assignment. Now, I'm going to go back into the model space so I don't continue to make major, major mistakes. So let's go to this, and we're going to complete that dimension. Oh, my. We have a problem. We need to make this the same scale as our viewport. Okay, and then there's that dimension right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get these guys closer together. You go up here to adjust space, okay? You can also type in dim space, okay? But you click that one, and then you click this one, and then you click this one, and then you hit enter twice. And boom. Now, looks like looks like my dimension style. Let's see. My lines, that's set at five. That should be three. Okay. And nope, I don't want center marks because we placed them already. We don't need redundancy. Our text is correct. Primary units. We only need two decimal points, or one decimal point for metric. Uh, but I do have the leading and trailing suppressed on here because we don't want a bunch of whole bunch of zeros laying around. So now we're going to close that. That looks a lot better. That's not down here tickling the next dimension. Okay. So next, we go back here and over here. So, the purpose of dimensioning is to show these features in the best way possible. Okay? So, we want to dimension them where they're best shown. Okay? So, that means we can see this a lot more clear than we could if we were to dimension this over here from there to there. Okay? Now, I'm going to dimension this feature here, and this feature here. Bring that right about to there, and then bring this down. And make sure that's far enough away. 
Okay. Next, we're going to do an overall height right here. That's usually the best place for your overall height is your side view. Uh, your overall length and width are typically best shown in the top view. Typically. There's always exceptions. Okay. Now, let's uh, complete the dimensioning of the holes. Ah, I don't have it in the right spot. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Let's see if I can make these fit. I don't want the angle of the uh, There we go. Now, I need to bring these guys down a little bit because I forgot this dimension here. Because we do want to stay with the baseline dimensioning. So now we'll just go back up to our adjust space and do this again. Enter, enter, and it moved it all a little bit better. Now, I may need to tweak this a little bit once we get uh, the other dimensions on here. So let's go back to home and linear. Now, the rules for dimensioning state you should have your dimensions between the views unless it's for the sake of clarity. It also says you should avoid using really long extension, dimension extension lines. Okay. So there are times when, you know, like this, okay. This dimension, I would probably even place it up here just to avoid having that really long extension line. Okay? Um, depends on what your boss says. I will accept it up here. All right? But, and same deal with this. This guy could just as easily be placed right there and that would keep that from being so cramped with the other dimensions all right and I believe that is everything that we need on here I'm going to uh, check the spacing on these two enter enter and move them down just a hair so, yeah, there's our 25, there's that feature, there's the bottom pieces. Of course, this dimension right here is shown here at 200. Then your overall width is 250. You got your, uh, both holes are located. Okay, so that's good. And they're identified. There's this feature here. We've got this feature called out here. So... 
Yeah. That's all there is to this. All right. So now we're going to go back over here. We're going to look at the views. And I see we need to bring this one up just a little bit because the dimensions are not seen over there. Uh, before I go anywhere else, I'm going to go into the view tab and turn off the UCS icon and the view cube. And now I'm going to grab everybody and I'm just going to move straight up to right about there. Now let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, there we go. So, there you have it. That's how this should look when it's correctly dimensioned, okay? Now, if you want to have this down here, okay, so with the baseline dimensioning this way, although we do start at this side on this. So, yeah, I don't see where that'd be a problem. And it really wouldn't be a problem with having this one up here because that's from the start of this area. So, anyway, um, everything else looks good. Yeah. That's how this should look. If you have questions, hey, ask me. I'll try to answer them as soon as I see the questions. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you have any comments. All right? Take care. Good luck. And thanks for watching.